Week 85 coming to you live from El Salvador, and it's just James today. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go. You guys know the drill. Down in the description, you'll find extra information. If you are not on our newsletter, please join it. Uh, it's free, and each week we put out a newsletter which will have all of the well, it has, has, the major, has the major events that are happening each week and going forward for the next couple of months. Uh, we do our best to keep that information up to date. So if you're going to visit El Salvador, that newsletter is super handy because you learn things about the My First Bitcoin meetups, the Bitcoin Beach meetups, uh, the Farmers Market, the Berlin meetups, and other meetups around the country as well. There's one in Santa Ana, which is in the northwest. There is another casual one every week in San Salvador uh, and more. If you know of some that should be on there, let me know, and I will add them. All right, the chat is going off already. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Uh, Nikki's uh, enjoying, there's a couple of photos from Nikki in here today from New Zealand. Nikki is enjoying the Bay of Islands, which is an area that, um, it's in the far north of New Zealand. It's very warm. She's swimming every day. She's on a, she's on a launch at the moment, which is pretty cool. So she's enjoying that with family. Uh, today's service is going to be a book, a book that we've read, and you'll see it pop up over on the side here. If you'd like more information, we actually have an interview with the author, Liam, and his partner, Mel. Check it out down below. They're also in New Zealand. They're from New Zealand. I thought it was kind of appropriate to have them on today since uh, we're talking about New Zealand a lot. <laughs> so that's awesome. Oh, man. Someone who, someone, 210 sats. I'm going to, I reckon I can guess who that is. That is... That's super cool. Hang on, I'm going to try and open that at the same time. Wow, someone sent us 210 sats. And hang on. I haven't done the sats shout out yet. I guess we're going to do the sats shout out, right? Here we go. It is Mark of Bitcoin. <laughs> that is awesome. Thank you very much. He's always in there pinging us. I always have to check the different wallets to see which one he sent us, sent us sats to. Uh, in our Blink wallet, we actually have a whole heap of payments from our Neutron Pay, which I pulled out from our website. So uh, we've actually had a couple of comments about our website this week because it's gone down and that's because I'm changing servers and it was working and then it didn't. So I'm fixing that, but I have payments here from you guys who have bought our calls and bought our books and thank you very much. We always appreciate that. Um, we and, and on that note, we actually get a lot of questions in the comments. Unfortunately, a lot of the questions are actually quite nuanced. Someone asks us about the attacks or other things like that, and it's like, man, it's such a broad question. It actually needs a lot of depth to really answer your question well. I can't really do it in a chat box, and I don't know if you really want to share a whole heap of your private information publicly in a YouTube chat about what you want to do with tax. Uh, so if you want to have a private call with us, we do sell them on our website, hopefully by the end of the week again. Uh, and yeah, that's um, something that we can do one-on-one uh, -on -one so you guys can answer um, answer any questions. I can answer any questions that you guys might have. Uh, right, also the we have the Orbi wallet. That's one of our web wallets which allows us to connect easily to the uh, websites when we pay things. Uh, we've just got some spam in there. And we got 100 sats from somebody on Nostar. I haven't actually gone and checked what the post was. And I say this regularly, but I need to use Nostar more. <laughs> uh, our geyser campaign, that's that's looking as it always does. And our, what is it? Um, uh, I'm trying to think of the other wallet. Strike wallet. I don't, think, I don't think Mark's been in there. Mark's the only person who pings us on our strike wallet, which is pretty funny. Mark of Bitcoin. I'm going to have to check it now because I just don't know when that guy's going to send sats. All right, thank you. Let's get going. It looks like you guys are having a good time in the chat, which is awesome. Thanks for turning up. All right, I'm going to find my Monday thing. So Mondays, is, oh, actually, I should probably follow and do some of the stuff that Nikki normally does. Uh, the meetups. So just remember... Um, most Mondays we have a Berlin meetup at 6.30 p.m. We didn't have one last week, and that will be in our Monday thing. That is because there was a massive street party because it was um, this big 
it, it, it's the Easter season. So basically the whole month this month is celebrating. It's not just not just one weekend like it is in New Zealand. Uh, and we couldn't really have a meeting last Monday because there was a huge street party outside. So they, the guy, the team were awesome. They did a little video and put that in the group chat here. So the people of Berlin, it actually probably goes out to more people that way, which is quite interesting. And it was a very cool idea. Uh, San Salvador, if you're going to be there every Monday, uh, no, every Tuesday, there's a casual meetup. Uh, at Honolulu, Honolulu is a great restaurant. They accept Bitcoin, really easy pizza and some other bits and pieces. Beer, <laughs> everyone loves beer, right? And of course, uh, this coming up at the end of the month or the beginning of next month, it is going to be Bitcoin Week. So we've got the halving party. Uh, we have the Bitcoin Beach meetup. Um, my first Bitcoin are having a graduation. So if you're coming, make sure you sign up for the graduation. They they probably have limited seats. Um, and then, of course, there's going to be the farmer's market. It's going to be the first farmer's market that we're going to be back at since Nikki's been away. Nikki's got fresh soap. It's over there. I can't smell it anymore. People walk into the house and they're like, wow, your house smells amazing. And I'm like, really? Because I'm, I'm numb to it. I'm numb to it. Um, and then after the farmer's market, people are going to come up to Berlin to check out the economy of Bitcoin. There it is on the side right now. Make sure you bought your tickets. Contact Charlie if you need accommodation. I had someone asking me about accommodation today. I Seriously, I, I don't know. Uh, but I do know that Charlie definitely knows. Charlie's, uh, he's gone around and he's talked to a whole heap of proprietors that uh, there is a new hostel set up. And I also know that there's Tim. Uh, he's a, he's a, a US gentleman which has moved here and rented out a really good place. I'm not, I think he's going to be ready to have rooms ready, but do book accommodation through Charlie because if you book online, you probably won't have a good time. Also, if you're traveling to Berlin, make sure you use Waze uh, or grab, jump on one of the buses. I know that I think they've got a Blink bus coming up. So Blink, oh, I'm even wearing a Blink, Blink shirt today. That was just a coincidence. The Blink bus will be bringing people up. So uh, they're sponsoring a trip up. If you don't want to drive and you just want to chill out and enjoy the ride for three hours because it's a big trip, jump on that bus. Again, contact Charlie, Jethro, uh, reach out to the account or Berlin and we will put you in touch with them. All right, let's go. Let's get into the week. Uh, I need my little magic clicker. Let's get into, oh, make sure we're focused on here and away we go. All right. Okay, cool. People, people all excited about Nikki soap. We've had, we had. Uh, oh man, oh, I forgot to add it. Which day was it? We had visitors. Okay, we're gonna come back to that. Uh, Monday, big, uh, mainly work. I mean, today I just, I just work. It's the morning, Monday morning. Just go for it. Um, client work. You know, normally people have uh, issues over the weekend, and we get on top of that. Plus Monday. It's the end of Monday for New Zealand and um, the other countries I work for. Uh, and we had the call with Nikki, which she's not here this week. Uh, then I, we didn't go to the meeting because of the street party. And then the team did the video presentation. Tuesday. Oh, that didn't work, did it? Oh, pens failed already. What's up with that? Ah, oh, okay. All right. I'm going to see if I can find the, where's my flag thing? <laughs> Image, uh, timeline. That's what we're looking for. Let's go. All right. Tuesday, I'd work in the morning and then I go to the center in the afternoons on Tuesdays and Thursdays and we had special guests turn up. We had Nicholas from Blink. We had Rockstar Dev from the BTC Pay server and we had John who's a core dev for Bitcoin in general. These guys turned up with a box, uh, a, a Starlink device, which we were just blown away by. Uh, completely random, very uh, amazing gift that, that Blink or Galloway Money have provided. Um, I, I'm not sure what we're going to do with it yet because our internet here is pretty good. Uh, we're, we're basically on 100 megabits down and 20 megabits up at the center, which is excellent. So if you want to come up and you want to work remote, the center is a great place to do that. You can go down the back. It's relatively quiet. It keeps all the street noise away. Uh, there's power down there. Great internet. And thanks to one of our um, big contributors, Steve, who is helping out with getting the internet better in the center. Uh, we've got network cable running through the center and we're going to put a couple of access points in hopefully at the, end, the beginning of next month. 
uh, to help make things better. Uh, but I do have a network cable down there for people. So those guys, they, they were amazing. We took photos, we talked, they had other, other cool things. In the photos in a moment, you may see a stamp of the Bit, um, uh, Buy Bitcoin, which <laughs> is a little bit naughty because uh, it's going to be obvious who's been stamping those dollar notes. Uh, and then we went with those guys to Patty's. Oh, there, there, there it is. <laughs> For anyone who's looking, there's the stamp. We've been busy stamping dollar notes. Uh, we went to Patty. Uh, who's an artist who has painted a number of things for us already with uh, the paintings in the center. We went to her cafe and it's a pretty cool cafe. It looks like, it feels like you walk into uh, an animated cartoon scene. It's quite cool. She's, she's done a very good job. And then all of the artwork on the walls is for sale. So it's really cool and she accepts Bitcoin. The guys had a great time. They had a lot of fun making videos of paying uh, Rockstar Dev. He, he's uh, been busy trolling Nicholas. It was quite funny about using Blink. He, he wants to use anything other than Blink just to just to wind him up. So that was, that was quite amusing. And then we went to uh, Cocktails y Blanqui, which is a restaurant down the bottom of town, which overlooks the, uh, the valley. Unfortunately, it's not a, not a great view at night. Uh, because it, it's so dark you can't see anything but it was awesome we had a great time uh, probably man we, we put tables together <laughs> this poor guy he was having drinks he went to the toilet and we we stole his tables and then when he came back we were we were a little embarrassed we thought he had gone home uh, but we, we got him to join our table and we had a chat to him and he was really good he was on his own so I think he enjoyed being part of the group which was really cool so that Tuesday was, that was amazing. Um, catching up with people like that, uh, these guys, they're, they're, they're massive contributors to the community on a technical level. Uh, and it was amazing that they have come here to Berlin to take a look at, at the project and what's happening and contribute. Um, they they, they want to support uh, Blink come up a lot. They talk to the merchants directly to talk about the distributor program that's going on. Uh, they've provided us with a number of hats and T-shirts and stickers that um, that we give away on occasion, and we also sell them. And then the funds just go into running running the project as well. They've also put a whole heap of signs around town. I mean, these guys. I I haven't used BTC Pay Server enough. I had a chat about it last night um, with with. Um, I guess I can say it, Steve, we were, we were working on a node uh, implementation and um, it was lots of fun. All right, I'm going to keep moving. <laughs> I can just keep ram rambling. I don't have Nikki here to, to gauge me. Um, all right, remember to ask questions in the chat because we are rapidly approaching, oh, the service, not, not the questions and answers. But when we get to the questions and answers down the end here, I will answer any of your questions as best as I can in the end. Uh, so let's go. Wednesday. I basically work from home. <laughs> I've become a bit of a hermit at the moment. Uh, I really don't get out much, <laughs> which uh, is probably not good for me, but it's good. I mean, I'm getting on top of a lot of things that I really need to get on top of. Our service, and my pen's still not working, so I can get rid of that. Service for the week. Okay. It is the book, Should You Own Bitcoin? And it was it was quite cool. When Liam and Mel first reached out to us, they sent us uh, an email asking us if we could read the book. It was a PDF, and I said, oh, do you happen to have an audio version? Because uh, it's easier for us to get through it, and I can, I can listen to it while we're driving. And apparently, I didn't know this, they came back and said, yes, here it is, after a few days. And Liam sat down and read his entire book and turned it into an audio file and uploaded it straight, straight away. So that was awesome. It enabled us to read and listen to the book really quickly. And while I was listening to it, I said, wow, this is a lot of the information that I would like to be able to give to people. If I could write a book, it would have been probably along the lines similar to what Liam's done. It, it keeps a lot of things in very... Um, um, <laughs> language that anybody can understand and there's a lot of metaphors in there i think which which help the average person to understand what bitcoin is and how bitcoin can be useful to them uh, and how it works in an easy way not it's not it's not a deeply technical uh, method but i think it highlights a lot of really good points 
which are relatable to normal people without going into any crazy rabbit holes or anything like that. I think the language in it is really relatable, which is really good. So if you know people that are looking for an easy and relatable explanation of what Bitcoin is, how it works, why it's important, then go and check out the website. The website is in the link down below and also the interview that we had with Liam and Mel. Now, they are actually offering the book as a pay what you want. And I don't think they have Bitcoin. I think it's only in fiat. So anybody who wants to buy the book in fiat, uh, you can. Or you could probably contact them if you wanted and actually ask them to pay via a lightning invoice. I, I don't know. I'm just making that up as I go along. But uh, Liam and Mel occasionally jump in on the chat. I'm just having a quick look to see if I can see them in there. I can't see them in there at the moment. But... Uh, it's a great read, very easy, uh, something to share with anybody who's Bitcoin curious and would like a basically a layman's reason why, how, what. So yeah, good book. And that's that's where I'm going to leave the service this week. Oh, Jethro's in here. Awesome. Okay, welcome. All right, these guys are having a good time. All right, let's go. Thursday. Uh, working from home again in the afternoon at the center. Uh, so Tuesdays and Thursdays, uh, it's, it's always good. Uh, now, Thursday was, um, uh, it was really good. Uh, oh, I got, I think it was Thursday that I got the, yes, it was, it was Thursday? No, Friday. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting my days confused. Thursday, uh, there were two things that happened I wanted to explain, but anyway, I needed to meet with the, um, printer from the local town from Mercedes. This is a town here called Mercedes or Mercedes, and uh, they are going. We're going to use them to print uh, some some merchandise and some stickers. It's the first time we've used them. They accept Bitcoin. They found us during a street party that was outside um, for Nuevas Idea Ideas or New Ideas, the political party of uh, the local government. They came in and said hello and said, oh, we can we can print some of the merchandise. And I said, do you accept Bitcoin? And she said, yes. And I said, okay, let's give it a go. So that was awesome. Uh, I went to dinner with Charlie and uh, a visitor to Berlin. Unfortunately, I didn't actually end up eating with them because the printer arrived late. So I ended up eating with the printer and we ended up talking about uh, what we were going to get printed and the cost and everything like that. So that was that was quite good. They were really good people. Uh, oh, and... <laughs> It was a new restaurant. So Charlie and I, we try to go to a new restaurant uh, when we, when we sort of, uh, there's been a few times in the last month where, <laughs> where the boys night out and it's like, let's go, let's go to talk to a new restaurant. So it's been really good. I really enjoyed those evenings with Charlie. It's been awesome. So new restaurant and we got in there. They didn't officially accept Bitcoin, but the staff member had a Blink wallet and he was happy to accept Bitcoin on behalf of the business, which was really cool. I ordered the big burrito, and it is a big burrito. They've literally like wrapped two burrito wraps together to make this burrito. It was seven dollars. Uh, there was a photo of it up there before. I'm waiting for it to come back, but it was um, it was a big burrito. I really enjoyed it. That was my my kind of burrito. Oh, but the meat it's called barilla, and it's basically like a a slow cooked pulled pork in a really nice sauce. So. All of their uh, uh, meals are basically barilla meals with this pulled pork, slow cooked pulled pork, and it's really good. So anyway, Thursday, that was Thursday. It was awesome. All right. Uh, where can I buy the book? Didn't see the link. Ooh. Oh, really? I'm just going to go down and have a look. It should be in the service section. So there's a service section. Uh, there's a service section in the uh, description, and it's got book website. Should you own Bitcoin.com? I can, I can, you know what? This is my show and I can drop, I can drop the link in the chat if I want. How about that? <laughs> Here we go. Sometimes I feel like I'm too professional and don't do certain things <laughs> because I'm worried about being professional, but let's go. <laughs> it's funny, funny how we, we do things sometimes. Friday, uh, working from home in the morning, and then in the afternoon, uh, I went to meet one of our followers called Marvin, 
Marvin is a Salvador Salvadoran who lives in the United States. He has contributed to the center a number of times. Uh, he follows the show. He's even in the chat today. Thank you, Marvin. Uh, it was really awesome meeting Marvin again because we met him at the Bitcoin Farmers Market. Um, and uh, it, it was just cool. We just sat there chilling, talking about, you know, how Bitcoin's going to change the world. Uh, the conversations, uh, you know, it, it doesn't get boring. It, uh, it's quite funny. It might get boring for people who aren't into changing the world. But uh, then we then went to dinner at uh, Coco's. Uh, with Charlie and Evelyn and Gerardo came along and Coco's, he does great burgers. Uh, um, I always enjoy his burgers up there. He does a good quality meal. All right, and then on Saturday morning, I popped back into the center to say goodbye to Marvin and thank you for visiting. I wasn't feeling 100%, um, had a bit of a headache. So uh, I was, <laughs> my energy level was very different to how it is now. Um, uh, but it was good. It was great to see him. Really grateful that he came up to take a look. Um, it's a big trip to come up here and and check out what's going on. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's really nice that people make the effort to come up. And, and I think, um, I, I hope he had a great time. Oh, he's found, he's found the link. <laughs> okay, right. Awesome. Where are we going then? Uh, then... <laughs> Then uh, Marvin also donated one of the first books to be printed in El Salvador from, oh, I forget it, I forget, I forget, I forget the name. He's got, uh, I think it's like Lolo Loco or something, uh, but it's, oh man, his name eludes me. You can find him, you can find the Bitcoin bookseller at the Bitcoin farmer's market. His name's going to come to me afterwards. Uh, a lot of people have bought books from there and then donated them to the center they are in English and Spanish, and they're normally about Bitcoin and sovereignty and freedom and things like that. Um, and his name, someone, if somebody can tell me his name in the, I, oh man, I, his name completely eludes me right now. Um, Leo, got it. All right. Leo, Leo prints the books. He he printed his first version of uh, of one of the books in El Salvador and Marvin bought the first two copies and one of them is here in, in Berlin and it's been signed which is super cool uh okay oh I think I am I am moving along all right we're gonna go to that was that was actually Saturday and we're gonna go to Sunday so before I start on Sunday please ask any questions on the side I see there's one there about BTC pay server which is really interesting I'm curious to talk about that um, I had a good chat about the new Phoenix the new Phoenix server as well which I'm going to mention so Sunday uh, I worked from home again been trying to catch up on a whole of things I'm still behind on a number of things in the evening I worked on the start nine node with uh, with Steve so we actually sat down and we both worked on our own start nine nodes um, backing them up setting up channels and things like that and it's really good to have somebody else to talk to about these things when you're doing them it's all bleeding edge stuff uh, it's you've either got to go google it or you need to have a friend that you can sort of chit chat about what's happening so that was a really cool way to spend the evening on Sunday uh, and that was pretty much it. Now, I just realized that we had uh, guests here in the uh, in Berlin, uh, two gentlemen who were road touring around on their brand new motorbikes, and they popped in here to say hello as well. I, I forgot to put it in my notes here, but I remembered earlier on. It was really cool. It's great that people come up and take a look at what's happening in Berlin and say hello and uh, just sit down and have a conversation. Uh, I just... I caught up with them before they got back on the road and carried on back to San Salvador. So that was that was great. Really appreciate that. All right, let's get into the Q and A. Man, it's nice and fast. I'm really really smashing through it. This is good. Okay, thank you guys for coming along and and getting involved in the chat. Really appreciate it. Uh, let's have a look. So FSV Buenas tardes. I don't, I don't know if I'm meant to say the name or not. Oh, and then the Saturday, there was also actually that that person reminds me. Saturday, we had a, a call with some friends to talk about another project that we're doing as well. So I didn't, I had written it down. I just skipped over it. Super pilotish. Hey guys, man, so good to see you guys. I hope you're enjoying Canada. Uh, I see the odd posts. You guys talking about how how nice and cold and fresh it is up there. <laughs> Mark a Bitcoin, Ola. 
Marvin, hello everyone, super pilotish. Audio and video are good, thank you. Uh, I, I reset everything today, and I'm also using a new camera today, which frees up um, a device. So we had an old device which failed, and I've gone and finally set it up, which is good. Um, Mark, have to send you some sats, be right back. <laughs> I don't know if that's, I'm going to have to check the wallets again. Mark's funny, I appreciate that. It's quite interesting. What is, what is amazing, on it, like, even though it, it's... Uh, kind of funny what Mark is, I mean, it, it, it's really awesome and generous of what, what, it's really awesome and generous that Mark does these things. Uh, but what he's demonstrating to everybody here, oh, this phone is giving me grief, is how simple, fast and simple and easy Bitcoin can be to send value. We're literally sending value to each other over uh, the internet without having to use a bank like it comes to me directly so the lightning network literally passes fractions of a bitcoin to people here anywhere on the internet as a game changer especially when you start looking at what's happening around the world uh, in the newsletter this week i've got a <clears throat> i'm going to be talking about how the eu is going to ban self-custody wallet well it's banning self-custody wallets which i don't know i don't think enough people are really worried about that Blinkit, I think that must be the 210 sats, unless there's, I think that must be the one. All right. Okay, <laughs> Mark. Superpilotish, thanks Mark Bitcoin. Jose, hola, saludos, salud, salud. Uh, Superpilotish, Nikki Soap is great, used it today, awesome, thank you. Uh, we've got stacks of it, I should actually take photos of it, there's literally stacks of it here, ready to go out for uh, the next Bitcoin farmer's market. Jay Thoreau, hola, sorry I'm late, but greetings from the Bitcoin Center here in Berlin. That is awesome. You're not late, mate. It just <laughs> uh, well, El Salvador has better internet than I can get in Sydney. Yeah, it's we're on cable up here, but there is a fiber backbone to the city. Um, and it's, it's pretty good. And the Starlink internet will also be, I mean, it's basically, I think it's 200 megabits down. And I think it's $55 a month. But when I don't think we're paying for it, but we've got the device there to use whenever we want to, which is amazing. Super pilotish, J Throw, I'm jealous. Yes, Super Pilotish actually did a tour video of the center. And he used the podcast studio that Jethro set up, which was really cool. Uh, and we've had, we've had a few people use it now, which is really cool. And Brenda Ola from Ontario. I, I want to say. <laughs> Ontario. Uh, so from Canada, thank you. Welcome. Whoop, I got things scrolling away on me. Marvin, where can I buy the book? Didn't see the link. Uh, down, down below, you found it. So I'll keep going. Uh, Jay Thoreau, Superpilotish, what's up? Marvin found the link. Had some, uh, Superpilotish, had some Satoshi specialty blend from Chirito Cafe today. Had some flashbacks. Oh man, that's so good. I'm actually drinking a local organic coffee at the moment. I have some Chirito Cafe left over, but I'm kind of saving it for a special special occasion uh, on the stovetop. I'll be buying more once Nikki comes back and we go to the farmer's market. And that's awesome. So Jay Thoreau, that's awesome. Uh, Chirito is great. Had some cold brew from them at the farmer's market yesterday. Love how they pay their workers with lightning. Network splits instantaneously. Yes. Uh, the, uh, Ch Chirito Cafe is working on something called Espresso Pay which will be a Allen Bits lightning split payment where they will pay, they they plan to pay growers, I think just growers, growers instantly for every cup that's sold, which is, I mean, this once that's going, that's pretty impressive. All right, I've put a link in there. Mark a Bitcoin. Is it hard to set up BTC pay server? I've tried a couple of times and it's a lot more work than I had time to try and set up. So uh, for example, I've got it on my node. It comes, it normally comes pre and packaged on your node. So if you have Umbrel or Start9, it's on there by as a package and you can just install it. And then it will connect to your, um, it'll connect to your Lightning node. And then I haven't gotten to the point where I've actually used it as a store. So I normally use Woo, uh, WordPress with WooCommerce and then I try to connect to connect WooCommerce to a payment gateway from there. 
I've never tried to connect BTC Pay. Well, it's not it's not true actually. I have tried to connect it once. Uh, it was a lot more work than I sort of had time and focus for. So I just moved on. At the moment, I use third-party hosted payment gateways. Something that's really interesting right now is this week, or over the weekend, last week, whatever it was, Phoenix, the Phoenix wallet, or Asin, they just released a lightweight node that you can run up, you, you can spin up really quickly, and basically they you then connect it to their liquidity channels, and in theory, all I would need is a WordPress plugin that will talk to that node. So if that node can be packaged to run on my start nine, and I can connect it to ClearNet, and then I can connect my WordPress to it, in theory, I'd be way more sovereign with my WooCommerce payments than I am right now. At the moment, I am hugely exposed to the banks cracking down on the payment gateway providers. So for example, we use Neutron Pay, and I'm not sure if Neutron Pay are onboarding new customers at the moment. There's also Ebex or Ibex. I stopped using them because they wanted us to KYC, and the Salvadoran customers were the only ones they wanted to KYC, and it's really unfortunate. I mean, I mean, that and that's not Ibex's fault or Ebex's fault. That's the government putting pressure on them, and it sucks because it's a Salvadoran product, and <laughs> I mean, Salvadorans are being punished for using it effectively. I mean. I don't know, maybe we should all be KYC'd through that, but I mean, the whole point of Bitcoin is to be permissionless and have the option, so, uh, and who else did we use? I know Blink are about to bring out a payment gateway, which will be a third-party one, but again, potentially, Blink could be KYC'd randomly at some point, and then do you really want to keep using it? So these options like BTC Pay Server and Phoenix, and I believe Nodeless, Nodeless got taken down. They were really interesting. Um, they were just a straight pass through. And there's, there's some other fringe options out there as well, but I haven't been able to identify who, like they haven't felt super trustworthy, um, might be the, the good way to put it. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm getting distracted on, on nerd stuff. I'm gonna keep going, it's probably not exciting for you guys. Marvin, it was great spending time with you guys. Excited about the new project. I'll be involved in exciting to work with you guys. Great things to come. Yes, Marvin's um, very enthusiastic about being re-involved in what's happening in our cell It's very cool. Jay Thoreau, Leo, thank you. Yes, um, thanks for the donation, Marvin. Yeah, that's uh, it's so cool. It, the 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 people that come and give. Like a lot of people can't be here full time, but they wish they could, so they contribute to the projects that are happening here in the center, whether it's the economy of Bitcoin or it's the podcast studio or it's Charlie or uh, you know what Steve is doing and paying rent and providing materials, providing tools. We've had so many secondhand devices now. We've actually got a number of phones and tablets and laptops, which we can now use in the center and and help to show people examples of how the technology works which is really cool super pilot ish hit the like button oh yeah please do please hit the like button please share it um it says i've only got one like here <laughs> maybe that's just because i haven't refreshed it it says there's 15 of you watching so hopefully i've got at least 15 likes there um super pilot ish hey man do you have any tips to defeat ants in the kitchen yep keep it clean don't leave food sitting around. That, that, that is the number one tip. Uh, basically, everything of ours is either in a container or in the fridge. We don't leave food out because, yes, those ants. And if you do have something like honey uh, or something sweet, get, get a saucer and fill it full of water and put the bottle inside the saucer and the ants, they can't get across the water and that will stop them from hunting down the honey. So that would be a tip for that one. Karen, we have been having really long wait times on Swan, sometimes 10 days and recently 30 days. Do you have any other platforms that you'd recommend where we are in the US? Yes, try river.com. River.com, as in like the water. So uh, River, they also offer a dollar cost averaging platform. Uh, once you're set up, it should be okay. You could try Strike strike offer bank 
connections. So Strike allow you to connect your bank account. Just be aware that Strike's KYC process is very strong and sometimes they will freeze your funds, like your first payment, $100 or $500, they will freeze it for five to 10 days until you clarify it, which is a real pain in, pain in the bum. Um, anything else off the top of my head? I know I've been listening to Simply, uh, Simply Bitcoin TV lately and they have a new product. I think it's called Bitcoin Well. Uh, go to Simply Bitcoin's show, one of their latest ones, and I think it's Bitcoin Well. I don't know how to spell it. I just know they talk about it, but they want to make that, their, their tagline is make, make self-custody a thing in the United States through Bitcoin Well. So maybe check that out. Uh, I've never used it or looked at it, to be honest. Okay, Jose. Let's eat mangoes. Yeah, mango season's coming. Our mango tree will not fruit, unfortunately. Jose, hola, saludos. Um, Bell asks if there are any double rainbow around today. That's a great question. Every day is a double rainbow, isn't it? <laughs> oh. it's, it, it, it's funny. Uh, there's, a, there's a meme. Uh, I'll often say, just do it. And the guys at the center the other day were, were like, what's going on with this just do it thing? And I showed them the actual meme that's online and uh, now they understand. And it, it's funny. If anybody's asking what Double Rainbow is, go on, go on YouTube, Double Rainbow. It's quite funny. There's a guy that's high and he sees a Double Rainbow and he loses it. It's really cool. Uh, l and &E, I just started using River to with automatic weekly DCA buys. So far it has been good, but I have not tried to withdraw the BTC yet. Okay, so that's that's interesting. Um, oh, yes, I, uh, sorry, I'm just putting puzzle pieces together in my head. So, yep, try River. Um, you wanna to take to self-custody as soon as possible. <laughs> just teasing, uh, but no, I'm serious. <laughs> Uh, and also, yeah, Bitcoin well. I'm going to look that one up afterwards. Jose, ¿cómo puedo hacer dinero con Bitcoin? I think you mean Bitcoin. Uh, where, where do you want to buy Bitcoin? Or where do you want to use money? Do you want to use money with Bitcoin? Do you want to buy money with Bitcoin? Uh, so there's actually um, WhatsApp chat groups. So Jose, I'm not sure where you are. Uh, but there's a chat group in San Salvador for the beach and San Salvador and there's also a chat group here in Berlin on WhatsApp and those chat groups are for people who specifically want to buy and sell Bitcoin for cash or cash for Bitcoin. And, oh, and that was something I was going to mention. While we were in the center on Friday with Marvin, we were sitting there and one of the locals, was it Thursday? I can't remember, Friday, Thursday, Friday. And one of the locals came in and asked to buy... Bitcoin. He wanted to buy $30 of Bitcoin. So he was looking, no, he wanted to sell $30 of Bitcoin. Sorry, I get these things confused sometimes. So he came in and, and Marvin was like, can I do like trades like this? Because of course in the States, these things are often like frowned upon, right? It's like a black market, but here it's completely normal to do a currency exchange. So uh, yeah, locals came in and we did a, a, currency strain, a currency exchange on the spot. It's really simple and easy. I actually had one as well. I was on a phone call. I'd put into the group chat that I'd like uh, just a small amount because I'd used the last of my cash. Uh, Tim walked in, waves a $20 bill at me. <laughs> I take the $20 bill, zap him $20 in, in Bitcoin, and he just waves and carries on on his, on his way. It was quite funny. Uh, but it, it shows, it shows how, how fast, easy, and convenient it is to buy and sell Bitcoin in a circular economy. Um, I mean... Even though I try to live on a Bitcoin standard, I still need a little bit of cash to do the odd thing like tuk-tuks and fruit and vegetable from the local fruit and vegetable people. Um, and Manuel, hey guys, how are you doing? Could you please kindly share the link for your favorite cold wallet? It is Seed Signer, which will come up here occasionally. Oh, no, that's my first Bitcoin. Seed Signer is our favorite. Oh, I've got one here. This one, this is my favorite. So it's a seed signer. It doesn't actually store any Bitcoin on it. What it does is it's used to create a, a phrase, a seed, a seed phrase. 
and then it's completely air gapped so it never never connects to the internet and never connects to your pc you have to take the biggest and there's the logo up there seed signer you have to take complete responsibility for your passphrase your seed phrase and the management of that and securing that and backing that up that is big responsibility but really you actually need to do that with any wallet that you get whether it's a software wallet or another hardware wallet you still need to basically go through seed phrase back up uh, seed word backup and passphrase backup somehow somewhere because if something goes wrong with one of these devices you need different backups uh, so this if you're in Manuel, if you're in El Salvador, go to the Bitcoin Farmers Market or go to El Zonte and visit the Bitcoin hardware store. They have these, they sell these, and they can also show you how to use it and give you a demonstration. Uh, one of the things I like about the Seed Signer is they, they can make it really easy to log into this wallet. Don't use this wallet. Um, but with... Uh, with these cards, you create a QR code. It's, this actually has a camera on the back. So this camera allows you to easily scan in your pa uh, seed words once you've done it. Use a passphrase, always use a passphrase, learn how to do it. Hopefully that helps. I'm not sure if, th there might be a link down below, I'm not sure. Uh, their shop is a little bit hard to find. And if you're in the United States, you can buy from their store, you can buy from their store in the United States. The shop is not easy to find on their website. We also have a video on how to use the seed signer if you want to check that out. Uh, it's on our YouTube channel. All right, uh, David, hello guys. All the love from Canada. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in. And Jose, uh, I'm from Usulatan, El Salvador. Okay, so Jose, you could come up to Berlin if you want and you could talk to... Um, you could talk to... The, you can come to the Bitcoin Center and talk to somebody and depending on how much money you want to buy or sell, um, yeah, that's one way. Also, because you're Salvadoran, you actually have access to the Chivo wallet. So if you use the Chivo wallet, you can connect that to your bank account and you can buy and sell Bitcoin there. Also, the Blink wallet, which personally I think is probably a better option than the Chivo wallet, I think it's a bit more reliable. I'm uh, just loading it up. Inside the Blink wallet, you can actually use the bank account feature. So I'm just going to show people in here. Here's the Blink wallet and this little um, price graph in the corner here. If you push that, it gives you what the Bitcoin price is doing. And then there's a button down here to buy and sell Bitcoin. And then you can set up your bank account in here. So if you want to buy and sell through your bank account, the Blink wallet would be the one that I would suggest to use first. Uh, you could do a cash trade here in Berlin uh, and you could join our chat group. If you send us a message, I can put you in touch with the right people. And Manuel, I'm in Oz. So sorry, your question was... Oh, okay. Right. You could order the seed signer from the United States. Or you could actually buy the parts yourself and 3D print the casing. Um, so it, the seed sign is one of my favorites in terms of simplicity. Uh, I actually think it's actually, it's, it's, it, it works on the fundamentals of the Bitcoin um, wallets. And it, it keeps it all pretty straightforward. It comes down to you to manage your seed phrase well. Another option if you don't want to do what this does is to check out a, a cold card so a cold card is um, a more expensive device and it actually stores the keys on the device itself uh, i'd still recommend backing them up somehow and i think they show you they go through a process but it it uses sd cards to pass the information back and forth between your device and uh, Computer. I've never actually used one in detail. I've only played with one briefly. I've never actually done a full transaction with it. Um, but the the seed signer would be my favorite. Cold card is meant to be really good ear gapped device. 
even though you've got SD cards which you transfer back and forth. Then oh, the, the Jade is meant to be okay. I haven't, personally, I haven't had great success with the Jade, but there's a lot of people, I think Mark of Bitcoin loves his Jade, which is really good. Um, it's meant to be air gapped, but I've had to connect it. <laughs> I've had to connect it to something so many times. I I don't understand the ear gappedness. So um, this is a jade. It's it's um, it's a lot smaller than the seed signer. Um, but yeah, one of the reasons to perhaps build one of these by yourself is that nobody would know you own it. As where this, um, when you buy it off a store, there's a record of you buying it. Uh, okay, all right. That's lots of waffling. I feel like. Okay, Jose, thank you for the information. Gracias. No problem. Uh, feel free to reach out to the Berlin group uh, or contact us, and I can put you in touch with somebody, and we can get you on the program. Um, all right, that's it. I'm gonna leave it there. Man, the time goes so quickly, even when I'm by myself doing all this. Thank you. Very, thank you very much uh, for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Uh, uh, the newsletter will hopefully go out tomorrow. I've chosen my three uh, my three news articles for the week, so I'm excited about that. Uh, tonight we're going to go to the the meetup. I'm about to leave for that now. I'll pack up. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Super Pilot. Uh, I appreciate that. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm just ranting and rambling. Hopefully, you guys are, are not not too bored with me uh, going on about Bitcoin stuff uh so yes appreciate you guys coming along seriously it, it's awesome um i mean 80 85 shows now and our audience is, is pretty stable which is really cool i'm looking forward to having nikki back i don't think that'll be next week i need to check uh actually i haven't even thought about that to be honest <laughs> no no she's coming back midweek all right so one more show uh with me maybe nikki will be here um if you're in El Salvador and you want to learn about a circular economy, come to Economy of Bitcoin. This is probably the best opportunity to meet with people who who really want to make a difference in El Salvador and have the tools and the technology and the experience to do it. If at any time you want to get involved in Bitcoin in El Salvador, uh, reach out to somebody in the community because they would love to put you in touch with the right people. I just reposted Oscar from uh, Node Nation. He's an educator. He's a Salvadoran. He is here, like, hustling it to try and make a difference. More Salvadorans. It would be great if you wanted to get involved in this, this, this technology, this opportunity. I'm, personally, I think a lot of Salvadorans are sleeping on the opportunity that Bukele has handed to the nation. I know he hasn't gone out and, like, promoted... Bitcoin in a big way. And I think there's pros and cons to that. That was actually a discussion we had during the week. But there are Salvadorans who have picked up this opportunity and have worked with it. And they have made amazing connections with people. They have learned so much. They are contributing so much. Opportunities that that I don't think they were expecting have come to them because they've been involved in the community. So if you know a Salvadoran that wants to be involved, would love to see more, uh, more active in here in this space. Uh, Jethro, uh, yeah, yes, tickets. I mean, tweets. There's so much information in my mind. <laughs> Trying to get it all out in a in a <laughs> in an organized fashion is challenging. Uh, yes, tickets. The guys were selling tickets on the weekend at the farmers market. If you guys can hear that, there's birds on the roof. Um, it's going to be a great event. I'm really excited about it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that, um, but we often get cats on the roof too. It's quite funny. Uh, but yeah, it's also a great opportunity to come and see. It's a great excuse, opportunity, to come and see and experience Berlin and experience a circular economy that is growing rapidly. Over 100 businesses. We've got 110 on the map at the moment. You can zap them. You can meet some really awesome people in the space. The conference is just going to be action-packed full of people who have got a lot to share with the world and, and how to make this happen. <laughs> Everyone in Berlin's excited. Berlin, Berlin it has a new breath of life. All right. 
Thank you, Marvin. Thank you, Jethro. And thank you, Super Pilot. I'm going to leave it there. Have a great week. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Remember, flick us any messages during the week if you have questions. I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you.